What's going on with you two? Have you been fighting? Grow up! My God! How can you two be hitting each other out here when my sister's fighting for her life in there? Boy! Oh, I guess I was just in time. Are you, are you okay? I think you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm grateful. I'm exhausted. Aja. I don't think I can do this. Of course you can. Hey, hey, I'm here to help you, and I'm not giving up. I wish I was stronger. You're dealing with a lot. The death of your father. I still can't believe he's gone. Every time the phone rings, I, I think it's going to be him. He was my anchor. And now... Oh, God. I don't know where to turn to. Okay. Clutch to the line for the young lady. Now, Claudia, whatever you do, don't turn to the wrong person. You mean Nash? Take it from me. I think he's no good for you. And he's disastrous to Jessica. What is that? Music to kidnap by? <laughs> it's a CD that Tess and I made. It's songs that we both liked. Thought maybe Brandon would like it too. Yeah, well, I won't. That's something Tess would do. That is something anybody would do, Nash, who's been taken against her will. Okay, hey, no music. We'll just sit and enjoy the quiet. Nash, if you turn around right now and take me back to Landview, I won't press charges. This is crazy. You know, Nash, it's not just crazy, it's cruel. I was more than happy to work out a fair visitation schedule. And I was just getting Antonio to understand the idea that you have a right to see your baby. But now that you've done this, you have put everything in jeopardy. Antonio's gonna have you arrested, or worse. And there's no way that you are gonna get shared custody now. I don't want a fair visitation schedule. It's all or nothing with me. I, I want my baby. I deserve my baby. I want Tess. Tess is gone. And I, Jessica, am here. And I, Jessica, am a calm and responsible person. And I hate you for doing this, Nash. I hate you. I'm doing it anyway. I'm calling the shots, not you. Jessica, I will do anything for my baby. For Tess. Without them, I have nothing. Lighting is not what it should be, but I can still tell that you get great landscaping. You know, when we were having our uh, little fight, I wasn't sure that I wanted us to patch things up. But now that we have, I'm glad. How can we patch things up when we haven't dealt with the root of the problem? <sighs> the root. You are always going to defend your family. I'm always going to defend mine. And we just have to come to terms with that. That's pretty much the way Vicky sees it. Oh, you talked to Vicky about our fight? I mentioned it, yeah. And did she think we should patch things up? <laughs> well, let's put it this way. She's not all that optimistic about our future. She thinks that our family loyalties will eventually drive us apart. Do you know what I love? What? I just love proving Vicky wrong. <laughs> Besides which, ta-da! We wouldn't want these to go to waste, would we? Or these. Fear and pretzels. 
Dorian Lord has beer and pretzels in her house? Well, I just happened to go to the market, and I remembered that occasionally you like to have a brew, and that I remembered how um, pretzels go very well with beer. So you bought these for me? I suppose so. Because you were hoping that we might make up. I guess I was hoping that we would, yes. You were also hoping that you would get me over here. I'd munch on a few pretzels and chase it down with a couple of beers and <laughs> and chase that down with a couple of more beers. And then you could have your way with me. Well, if I was hoping that, this would be a great night for it. I've got a lot of family staying in the house. They're all out. Even my daughter, Adriana, is somewhere far away, but safe and sound. I searched the whole area. There's no sign of anyone having been near here but us. There's no fresh footprints in the sand. There's no tire tracks on the road. Nothing. I don't get it. Are you sure you saw someone at the window? Adriana? I didn't see someone. I saw something, a butterfly. What? Fluttering. A butterfly. Don't say it like that. Like I'm losing my mind, OK? Because you know as well as I do that this psycho who's been stalking me has a thing about butterflies. It's what he calls me in his text messages and the one that he left for us at the Cranberry Inn. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. There's no way you can stop me from getting to a phone as soon as we get to where we're going. <laughs> Unless you're planning on locking me up. But... Oh, great. Is that what you're planning on doing, Nash? Oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm staying strictly within the speed limit. <laughs> I wouldn't do anything to endanger my baby, Tess, in the car. I'm not the speed demon Tess was. That actually ties in really nicely to how we met. Have I, have I told you that story yet? Just because I'm stuck here does not mean that I have to have conversation with you. Huh. She stole my convertible. Oh, wow. <laughs> how original. You guys are regular Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> what? The way you said that. You're not usually the sarcastic one. You're safe here, Adriana. No one is going to find us. Feel better now? Sorry for overreacting again. You can overreact all you want. I will be here to take care of you, okay? Always. I'm gonna go heat up that pizza. It's probably cold by now. Let me get this straight. Adriana's at a secluded location with Rex Balsam, no less. And you're okay with that? Rex would never be my first choice for Adriana, but then it isn't my choice, is it? You're not Dorian Lord. You're a pod person. Oh, please. My daughter's happiness is all that matters to me, and Rex makes her happy. What's the matter? Don't you think Rex can make her happy? Well, don't get me wrong. I like Rex, but I also know how protective you are of your girls, particularly mm -hmm. Adriana. I also know that you object to her going out with Duke an exceptional young man who was never in trouble a day in his life. I've evolved. Really, no. I have been way too judgmental about the men that my girls spend their time with, and it has ill-served me. Uh, most importantly, it has ill-served them. So now I'm going to try something new. Yeah. With everybody except Kevin. Please. We do not want to go there again. No, no, I don't particularly want to go there. Good. So, just enjoy. I'm impressed. <laughs> impressed by what? 
I'm impressed with you, Dorian. Because it takes an awful lot of guts to decide to change and, and then actually do it. And you know something else? I find this new and improved Dorian to be very, very sexy. <laughs>